Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, we are going to learn how to create and set up a pop-up event on our website so that we'll be able to capture leads information by using a pop-up form. We'll be able to show any special message to our website visitors by adding contents on a pop-up box. To start creating a pop-up element on our website, we can actually make any row of our website as a pop-up if that row has value. Now, let me show you the step-by-step -step process from scratch. So I'm going to take a new section from here. After that, let's take a row. It could be a single column row, double column row, or whatever column based you want based on your need. So let me go with the single column row. And after that, I'm going to take an element here. So let's add heading. So let's click on heading and then I'm going to give it to H4 and I'm going to change the text. Let's say subscribe to get the PDF. Okay. Now I'm going to make it to center. So let's click on center. Here we go. The text is in center. Now I'd love to add the email subscription box. So let's click on this plus icon, add new element. We are going to get this subscription from here and let's cross this out. Here we go. We have got a very basic form design. I'm not going to go for the design in this video. The purpose of this video is to show you how to make any row as a pop-up and how you can use them on your website. So here we go. We have got this row with these elements. Now, how can we make this row as a pop-up box or pop-up element? Simple. We have to go here on this edit row style. After that, we are going to find this option pop-up setting. So let's click on this. After that, you're going to find this one, make it as pop-up. So let's click on this button and it is going to be enabled and you can see pop-up row. So now this row is a pop-up row, which is not going to be visible on the front end of the website, but it is going to start working as a pop-up on our website. So after selecting this option, we are going to give this pop-up model a name or actually the ID. So let's give it a ID. So pop, let's say two, two and make sure you are not giving any extra space on the name. Other than that, it would work. So make sure it is single word. Okay. After that, if you click on this pop-up preview, you'll be able to see how your pop-up is looking on actual website or as the pop-up box. Okay. And we have got some styling things here, which you can simply uh, do actually customize based on our need. But as of now, I'd love to keep it simple. I'd love to go for the next steps. Let's cross this out. And after that, I'm going to click on this publish button so that our pop-up will be published. Now it's time to implement this pop-up on our website. So let's click on this page settings. And after that, we are going to find this pop-up settings option. So let's click on this. And then we are going to use, let's say, select exit intent pop-up. We have got this option. So let me select the pop-up that we have just created. After that, I'm going to show it repeatedly. So let me cross this out. Let's click on publish. Now, whatever change you are making, if you want to get it working on your website, make sure you are publishing the site. So let's open this website in a new tab. Now, if I take this cursor in this field, you are going to see, here we go, we are seeing the pop-up appeared here. Okay, now as I have selected the repetitive feature, if I take it again, it is going to come repetitively, right? So whenever the user will take their mouse here, they're going to see this repetitive action. So let's cross this out. I'm going to here, and after that, we are going to click on page settings. We are going to see another option. So let's click on pop-up settings. After that, I'm going to disable this repetitive feature. And then I'm going to select none for exit intent pop-up. We are going to enable this one, select on load pop-up. So I'm going to select the pop-up and let's select show it repeatedly. And then let's post this. After that, we are going to click on publish. Now, whenever a person will visit our website, they will see a pop-up appearing instantly. So let's click here and here we go. The pop-up appeared. Now, if someone just visits again, it should work. Okay. So as you have selected this repetitive feature from here, let me take you pop-up settings and here we go. If I disable this one, it is going to work only once. And then until the cookie got cleared, they're they are not going to see the pop-up again okay so this was how we can simply select the pop-up for different activities now let's say you want to get this pop-up clickable for instance let's say you want to add this pop-up to this button so whenever someone will click on this link or this button the pop-up will show 
So simply to make this happen, let's click on this edit element of the button and then we are going to scroll until we find the button link option. Here we go. Let's click on this. After that, from link type, we are going to select this to pop up. After that, we are going to select the pop-up model which we have created. So we need to select the pop-up model and let's cross this out. Let's click on publish. Now, if someone clicks and visits our website, and here we go, as we have added our onload pop-up, then it is just loading. Now I'm going to cross this out. Let's go to the bottom of the page. If I click on this button, the pop-up appeared again. All right, so this is how you can create and add pop-up to your website. I believe you have found this video helpful. And if you have got any further question, please feel free to ask us by commenting below and visit us at doric.com for more information. Thank you so much for being with us. Have a good day. Bye-bye.